What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to transfer your extensions from SketchUp 2019 to 2020 the easy way. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so a couple things before I start. So the first thing is use this method at your own risk. And what I mean is this is not the generally accepted way of doing this. Probably the best way of doing this is to go through and download new versions of your extensions. There's a couple reasons for that. The first reason is because you are messing around with the file structure of SketchUp. Um, and uh, so I'm not responsible if you mess up any of your files or anything like that. So follow the instructions and I don't think you're gonna have any issues, but again, do this at your own risk. Second of all, some extensions that you used in 2019 now work in 2020. Some of them don't. Some of them haven't been updated. So even if you use this method, some of these extensions may not work, and uh, that may have more to do with the extension developer updating these to work with the new version than anything else. So um, do so do this at your own risk, and also this may or may not work for certain extensions. However, this is what I usually do when I'm transferring extensions from SketchUp 2019 to 2020. So if you were to look at my SketchUp 2019, you can see how I have a number of different extensions installed in here. I have a bunch of extensions in my extensions folder that aren't currently enabled as well just for performance, I want to transfer all of those to SketchUp Pro 2020. And so the way that we're going to do that is you're going to go find the extensions folder for SketchUp 2019 and also for 2020. And so usually, um, unless you've changed it, your extension should be found in your C drive under, and I don't know where they're located on a Mac. This is obviously PC specific, but for for a PC, your extensions are going to be found in the C users folder, and then your username, and then app data, roaming, SketchUp, SketchUp 2020. And so if what it, for whatever reason, like the app data or roaming don't show up, inside of Windows Explorer, there's an option in here for hidden items. So you can turn that on or off. So if that folder doesn't show up, go up to your view and turn on hidden items and you should be able to find this. So this will be different for every user, but it should be under your username. And so you're going to find the exact same thing for SketchUp 2019 as well. So you can see how for me, with all the old versions that I have in here, each one of these is contained, or each one of these has its own folder. So you're going to want to open up the SketchUp 2019 folder and the SketchUp 2020 folder. What we're going to do is we're going to go inside of the SketchUp folder. It's found in SketchUp 2019, and you want to go in the folder labeled Plugins. My recommendation before you do this would be to create a backup of this folder just in case something goes wrong. You don't need to do this, but this is what I recommend just in case something goes wrong. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the SketchUp 2020 folder, SketchUp, and Plugins again. And what we want to do is we want to take all of the stuff, and it's probably better to close SketchUp before you do this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of the plugins from this folder, I'm going to copy them, and I'm going to paste them inside of the SketchUp 2020 SketchUp Plugins folder. So you should see folders in here already for the advanced camera tools, the sandbox tools, things like that. So that should show you that you're in the right folder. But I'm just going to do a Control A to select everything. I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on copy. Do not click on cut because that will remove that from your SketchUp 2019 folder, which you don't want. We just want to select all of these and copy them. Then we want to right click and we want to paste them inside of our SketchUp 2020 plugins folder. And depending on how many of these you have in here, this may go really quickly or it may take a little bit of time. Um, some of that's going to depend on your computer speed as well. As you can see, I have like 1.4 gigabytes worth of files in here, so it's going to take a little bit longer. But we're going to copy all of those into this plugins folder. And then we'll talk about what to do from there. And so you r may run into this. That's because um, those uh, those original files, so like the sandbox file and other things like that are already in here. So um, I would say do not replace the files in the destination because the ones that are in there may be more up to date. So I would say for those files, I would say skip those files. 
And so what that's done is that's transferred all of these extensions from your old folder over here to your new folder over here. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to um, open up SketchUp. And so this is always interesting the first time that you do it because it's going to go through and it's going to load in all of these different extensions. You may get some error messages if some of them don't work. So and we may have to work through that. But let's go ahead and open up SketchUp 2020 and see what it does. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up a new file. And what this is going to do is this is going to go through and it's going to check that plugins folder for all of these different plugins. So what this is going to do is it's going to load in all of those different plugins or extensions when it runs through that file. So this could take a little while the first time it does this. And notice how we are running into some issues already with some of these different extensions. So like for example, you can see how like AMS library is not working. So we're going to go ahead and click on OK. So that gave me an error for AMS library. But you can see how a number of these extensions came in here and loaded up. And depending on how many you had enabled, and so you may get a different number of these depending on how, how many extensions that you have in here. But you can see how a number of my extensions have now been moved over. I can also go to my window, extension manager, and I can see all of the extensions that are contained in here. So all of these extensions got moved over when I did my copy paste right there. So again, I'm going to say this one more time. You can use this method. Do so at your own risk. Um, it's fairly low risk, but if you start moving a bunch of stuff around in that folder without knowing what you're doing, it can cause some problems. So this is not fully supported by SketchUp. It's kind of a workaround right now, but it is a quick way to get your extensions to load inside of SketchUp. So that's from it in this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Is this helpful to you? Um, have you used this method? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.